Uh, Ahmed, you ask me to call you. Are you sure, Ahmed? Ahmed, did you ask permission from your parents? Because my talk to you, and I noticed that you are just a kid. I mean, you don't you, you lie with no with no even respect yourself. Hmm? And you talk too much, but you say nothing. You give the mic to Ahmed, he start talking. <laughs> Ahmed, Ahmed, can you talk? No, no. He's like a gun machine. But he talk too much, he say nothing. And he lie. He is a certified liar. Like yesterday, he said to me in Islam, it is not permitted to own slaves. And then we showed him from his own website, we got him busted. And we showed him in Arabic and we asked him to translate and he lie in the translation. Ahmed, I will give you a call. Let us say just for a laugh. And let us see what you will say about what we are reading in front of us in the screen. Yes, Ahmad. Hello. Hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So, what do you think, Ahmed, about your prophet saying shaitan? He Come on, man, you are saying the same thing. You are saying I am crying like a baby. You said the same thing about Abdul Wadud, and you said, you know, man, the thing, the, the thing you did. I answered all your question yesterday, and I have a lot of views of people today are saying you busted him, and, and now you are making jokes. You hang the phone on my face two times. Okay, let us, I let us go. Let question. us go from zero. Everybody is laughing. You said yesterday. That I no, was hold on. Let us see how many. Let us see how many, let let see how many lies. No, 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 no. You, you said no, no, no. I will go. I will go back to zero. You said yesterday, Aisha, she was 18 when she married Muhammad. This is a big fat lie. And I got you busted. I show you the Islamic website. You gave me yourself saying that this is a big fat lie. Number two, you said to us that uh, a Muslim is not permitted to own slaves. And I show you from the same website you gave me. It says it is the opposite. You are permitted, the one who says it is not true that you are not permitted to have slaves in Islam. How many lies did yesterday you told me? What is, guys, uh, remind me what else he said yesterday. Everything you said, it was a lie. Not a single thing. And I am the one who show reference and you are the one who just give me speeches. Mm. What about the sperm coming from where? I showed you from your website that the sperm, according to Islam, come from the location of the necklace of the women. What else? Remind me. So yeah, about, what are you uh, talking about? You're talking about the Fahisha. Fahisha, you? yes, it's about lesbian. And you agreed yourself in the beginning. You say it's not about lesbian, and then after five minutes, Man, you know what? You hmm. know what? When I heard that, when I heard it again today, I I did tell you in the beginning. It's not about lesbian alone. It's about lesbian uh, adultery, about everything. My friend, it says yes. women, it women, funny. women. It says women. It says women. You speak Arabic. I speak okay, Arabic. Okay. So how women Christian. they will do adultery if there's no man? It says uh, your women who do that. The Quran make a punishment to clear two verses one after <laughs> one one for the homo and one for the lesbian So the one for the, the the one for first the homo all, is 16 First of all, you need to have four people to to testify on this and then you don't kill them You don't do anything. You just you just put them in the house. Okay. What do you want? You want to have homosexuality around your society? I wanna, you want that I want to ask you a question. So why you don't do the same to the uh, Abdul? Why if Abdul, Absolutely. he commits sin like you, if Abdul like you, who, who became a homo, why you don't jail him until he dies? I'm not died? homo, I am married, I have two kids, alhamdulillah. I don't Thank know, God. I don't know about you. I'm not saying you are my friend, this is not my business, you can be if you no, want. No, you said you are Abdul, you are a homo. I'm saying, uh, if, I'm saying why you don't do the same for uh, Abdul? All the Muslims are Abdul. So when we speak no, about... No, excuse me, what is Abdul? Abdul is Abdullah. All of you are Abdul. Your prophet says that. I can show you the hadith. All the Muslims are Abdullah. Uh, yeah, you mean we? You call us Abdul because we worship Allah, right? You call yourself actually a Sheikh. You are the one who told me that you listen to my debate with Sheikh uh, uh, Abdul Wadud, right? His name is yes. Abdul. Abdul Wadud. Okay, and he said to me, okay. I will give you an example. If there is two guys, one his name is Abdul and one his name is Abdullah. Correct, guys. Even your Sheikh, he gave me that. So what you are upset? Okay. 
Okay, now <laughs> we go back. We go back to zero. Okay, now let's go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said to me, you said to me, do you want to have a homosexuality in your society? Well, I'm asking you now, what exactly. kind of justice to make a difference is between the punishment for females who commit the same sin as men, for the women you jail them until they die and you agreed, but in the case of men you beat them with sandals, and if they repent you let them go. No, we don't be beat them with sandals. Okay, let us see. We, okay, let us uh, listen. Uh, me and you, case, me and you. No, no, no. Me, me and you. Let us make an agreement. When someone of us oh. says something, he have to prove it. Is that fine? Okay, fine. Okay, I will go right now to tell you. Hold on. And also to prove it. You will bring the whole truth. You don't. No problem. Something. Here we go. Everything, in, everything in the screen. Everything in the screen. Here we go. For me, when okay. I say something, I have to prove it. I go to your Islamic interpretation. And your Islamic interpretation is saying My that clearly. Is, is a guy who's married do adultery, hmm. he's killed. He's married. If he's married, he goes. There's he, no he verse. In, there is no verse in the Quran for that, and I challenge you. Don't tell, tell me la hawla wa la hawla hawla. Show me the verse in the Quran. I challenge you. There is no such a thing. This is you got something from the Hadith. So you Muslim, you okay. don't follow Allah. You follow Muhammad. Now. This is hold on. Listen, you see, you, are, you Muslims are like a kids. When you speak to me, speak with respect. I'm a, I am the master of Islam. Listen to this. Well, says, people are laughing. Listen, everybody is laughing at you, not at me. Tafsir al Jalalain. And when two of you, uh, and he here he says, who do you do? The Why act of adultery or stop, homosexuality. Stop, stop. Hold on. Let me talk. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. You said to me, show me no, the no, reference. I don't want you to read. I don't want you to read. I will. I will not address this point. Wait Why? a minute. Why? Let's let's be fair because I saw the video yesterday. It was nice, but we talked too much and we lost a lot of time of putting verses on the screen. But we everything. started already. Let's I'm talk. asking you no, why no. Islam? Why Islam punish the women by jail to death if she is lesbian, but you just uh -huh. punish the man by beating him by sandals? This is Quran. Okay, you mean if a, if a man commit adultery, we just punish him by sandals? If this he is, is a homo, read it. It's in front of you. Ah, the homo. Mm. Okay, no, my friend, the homo, even the man, he mm. have to die if he commits something. This like is that. not in the Quran. I'm asking the you about Quran. the verse in the front of us. Don't, 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 don't. The verse in the front of us, it says, minkum And those of you, the men who do that, hurt them. How you hurt them? Your sheikh explain, beat them okay. by sandals. Wait a minute, you know. Aduhuma means aduhuma. Mm. Let me explain. Aduhuma, there is two. There is there is aduhuma wa darar. A darar means physically. Mm. Aduhuma means uh, not physically. The, the opposite of uh -huh. physically. Okay, okay. So here, homosexual. You talk to them and you hurt them by words mm. and you beat them, them by, by sandals. You, you do you're shake saying, you're shake shaky saying, beat them by sandals. So the question is, why in the verse before it and you agreed? That if women they do the same act, we jail them until they die, and there's no forgiveness for them. But in the case of a man, if he do that, as you see, we just hurt them by saying word to them or beat them by sandals, and you let them go. Okay. I will answer you. My answer mm. is mm. for us Muslims. What I don't care what you are reading for uh, for Muslims. If anyone, woman or girl, uh, woman or man, if they are married, they commit adultery, they die. That's it. And you can find that in the Quran. I don't care. No negotiation. Yeah, did he say? Did he say? And we can find that in the <coughs> in the Quran. Uh, uh, to be honest, the first time I heard the no, no, no. Listen, listen. Did you just standards. did you this just say? Did you just say we can find that in the Quran that we kill them? You, of course, you will find that in the Quran. Or show hadith. me. This is our resources. No, Quran or show hadith. me. No, you no. Don't tell that. me or use the Quran. Show me the verse in the Quran. It says if somebody commit adultery, we kill him. This, you know, okay, you still want to lose time on giving verses? No, we will not lose time I here. I, I spank Muslims, I, I don't debate them. I Muslims are a bunch of kids, they have no idea what they're talking about. You are a person who go to the uh, mosque uh, every day and you pray to Allah and you are married and you have kids and you are a man, uh, but yet you are fabricating stories, it's not existing in Islam. What you are saying is in the hadith, not in the Quran. So, why you are lying? No, no, I said in the hadith and the Quran. No, you said to me in the Quran, and then you added hadith okay. after. Okay, so so go. it's not in the Quran. Okay, you go. You want me so, to okay so you agree. You so, you, you, you agree that this is not in the Quran. <laughs> okay, now when I get you the, the, 
at source now you don't want to to hear no i want it no problem i don't want your source i know the source already i know what you are going to say to me i know what you will read word by word this is not the question you said to me you just admitted that this is in the hadith the question is do you accept hadith Mm. contradict the quran i accept hadith and quran my answer but you muslim you say to us always if the hadith contradict the quran we don't accept it yes Okay, but the Quran never says kill them. But the hadith does. It doesn't contradict. Thank that, you very much. Uh, no, it contradicts. It contradicts. The there is a punishment. No, the in the Quran, in the Quran, punishment, punishment, is, punishment, punishment is to beat them only, not to kill them. Okay, should we go to a better point? I wanted to talk to you because I, you are. Why you are jumping? Why you are um, jumping? Now you are. Now you are going, you are taking advantage of people who are English and you are a little bit. Uh, you are you? Little bit I'm of taking Arabic. advantage and of you. You are taking you words from here and putting words there and trying to Abdul, be smart st- about Stop changing it. topic. Why, why you are religion. taking, I'm why you are taking the word of your prophet against the word of Allah? Which one you worship, Allah or Muhammad? I worship, I worship Allah. Okay, so Allah, he says, if a woman or a man, they commit adultery, we beat mm-hmm. them. We lash them. And not in this case here. This is different verses. Okay. So why we you follow them. Muhammad? We beat them. Mm. Mm. Okay, continue, continue. Okay, so why you accept the hadith where it says kill them mm-hmm. when the Quran did not say nowhere to kill anyone okay. for committing adultery? Okay, my answer is you have a very straightforward question. Why you accept the hadith when the Quran said something? Because to me also, the hadith is a very real, reliable source. If there is not, if there is something in the Quran that is not uh, mentioned, we can take it from the Hadith. But 99% of the stuff is mentioned in the Quran. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we only take from the Hadith what the Prophet did, what the Prophet say. So we should do like him and we should say like him. Mm-hmm. This is exactly what I can tell you okay. about the Hadith. Let me, uh, let me answer you. Is it true that you used to have a stoning to death verse in the Quran, but the goat ate it? First time to hear this. Okay, do you have a goat at home? No, I, I'm not living in a farm. Okay, no problem. I wish to have a goat actually, but I, will, I wish to. Yeah, but for me, I'm afraid to have a goat because she will eat my Quran. This is your prophet, Aisha wife. Oh, saying, they, this is your prophet this, wife. You for this, is, this, point. this is your have prophet you wife. The... Hold on. This is your prophet wife saying that there was a verse for stoning to death, but the problem, the goat ate it. Mm-hmm. Okay, you are realizing that you are bringing stuff from the wife of Rasul said, the wife of Muhammad said, you're not bringing anything from my religion, the Quran. What is it telling me? To so do? now your wife say the wife of the Prophet said, isn't it your Prophet? You, you Muslim Sunni, you say that the Prophet says, yes. took your religion from Al Humayra. No. Take your religion from the Blondie. No. No. Take are, your religion. Are you from farting God. or what? Why are you asking what, yourself? What is, are you farting? Are, are you farting? Are you farting from the Blondie, yeah, Christian? Did you what fart? Does it mean? Did you fart? Did I fart? Yeah. No, I didn't. But I, I might, I might. Okay, my friend. Yeah, I knew when, uh, as, long you did, as long you did you fart, because go. I heard you squeezing and doing something. The prophet he says, if you fart, Allah don't accept your prayer. Yes. Why? I agree. Why? Because when you are in the mosque, mm. you have to be clean, pure. Everybody before you go to pray, you wash yourself. Then okay. you go to pray. Okay. But what your prophet said, if you say the pro- if you if you fart before the mm. end of the prayer, it's accepted. No, no. If you fart before the end of the prayer, you stop the prayer, you go wash yourself and come pray again. Ah, well, let us see the hadith, yeah. my friend. Let us see the hadith. The hadith says the opposite. Here we go. go. Here, here, your prophet saying that Allah don't accept you for your prayer if you fart. And then here, let us see. Your prophet said. <clears throat> uh, okay, read with me. Allah Messenger said, when he commit farting, meaning a man, and he is sitting in the end of his salat, before saying that the sleep, then his salat is acceptable. So why the farting in the beginning is not acceptable, or in the middle, but farting at the end is acceptable? That's also a fabrication. Fabrication? You cannot fart, not in the beginning or not in the end. What do you mean fabrication, my friend? Why it's fabrication? <clears throat> Because I'm praying, as I told you, I pray five times a day. You just okay, told let me, me just ask, let me ask you. Okay, you okay. Well, you, when you fart, what's the problem with Allah? What is the problem? 
uh, there is no problem. You cannot be a problem with Allah. The okay, so why he doesn't accept you? your prayer? If you are a human being, he created okay. you. He created you in a certain way. You digest food, and the food make yeah. gas, and the gas turn into fart. So what's the problem yeah. with Allah? This is God teaching you to be disciplined when mm. you are in a in a place like God. What if somebody God don't have a like control? I, mean, what? I don't know if you have if you have a custom of farting and having shit in the church. I don't think you do, guys. Uh, right? No, hold on. I, you have a custom. I, I can show you that you Muslims you have no problem that dogs go inside the mosque and piss. Do you want to show you? I can no show me. I I, I don't agree with that. I I don't disagree with that. No problem. Don't at all. disagree. Yeah, no, don't, don't disagree at all. Why? Why should I disagree? Well, okay. there is a dog so, that so in. how come if you fart, it's it's your your prayer uh, is refused, and if a dog go inside the mosque and this is the house of Allah, it's fine. Who's praying? Me or the dog? I'm huh? the one who's praying. Not the dog. Yeah. So. So why you don't if the dog is, if the dog is having is doing is a pissing somewhere in the corner. What does it? What does? It, what should that do with my praying? I'm praying in the front. The dog went somewhere and he. Well, you are there. Water. You are. You are praying in the same ground. You are praying in the same ground where the the dog uh, he pissed. Uh, thank you very much. It's about how. It's about. It's about uh, feeling. We don't take it literally. Read like, with me. Uh, literally, no, literally. What literally? What feeling? There is a dog literally. Listen. My here we go. My my father said that during the lifetime of Allah Apostle, dogs used to urinate and pass through the mosque. Come and go, bzz, bzz, and they piss. You know how the dogs they piss. They piss in your leg. They piss in yeah. the wall. They piss everywhere. Nevertheless, okay. they never used to sprinkle water on it. You don't okay. even clean it. Okay. Done. Finish. Yeah, answer me. How in the world okay. a dog he piss inside the house of Allah, and you Muslim you uh -huh. don't have a problem with that, and the same time you don't even clean it. I would know. Here, where is your mistake? Sometimes you, who is who on the on earth doesn't clean? Where is where is the piss or what? You is, tell uh, me. Dirt? You Muslims don't. Here we go. The hadith in front of you. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is according to you, my friend. We are the most. I, I think. I think. This is my opinion. I think Muslims are the most hygiene people in the world because we should wash ourselves five times a day and mm. pray five times a day. So yeah, right, are very right, hygiene. right. Yeah, right. The Muslim, they were the, were the most hygiene people in the world, and your prophet was full of lies. Now, as long as you are the most hygiene God, people God in the world, God help you, my friend. God help you. Allah hidik. Okay, are, are you going to answer or not? You want to call me names or what? No, look, answer, answer me. Question. Why you are not? Here we go. Uh, this is the hadith in front of you. This is Sahih Bukhari. Don't tell me it's weak. Don't play the game. This is Sahih Bukhari, and it says it clearly: dogs get in, dogs get out, and nobody even care. Okay, yes, we don't care. The dog is a creature of God. If it want, it, if it came, I will not beat it out of my mosque. I will not. If I can prevent it to do something before it does it, yes, no problem. But if it's already doing it, I cannot stop it. Khalas, it happened. So if imagine you, if you are peeing. Is it, is it you, okay? Imagine if you are peeing and you are you are safe what, what and if, someone what comes if it's a man? back and, and stops you. Okay, what if it's a man? Even the man. God, I think there is a, there is also an incident with uh, with Prophet Muhammad. Someone was taking a piss in the masjid. He was drunk or something, mm. and the Prophet Muhammad and the, his disciple the disciples wanted to kill him mm. because he's being in the mosque. And Muhammad told him, "No, mm. leave him alone." Okay. So, so what does that tell? So you can you, you can piss Muhammad you can piss heart, right? okay you can piss in the in the, in the mosque and there is no problem with Allah. Yes. Mm. No. Why? You said to me we are very hygiene people. Like you it's said to us we are very hygiene people. Why a Muslim guy he will piss in the mosque? No, I did say you, you don't go to the mosque to piss. No, I this is a if there is a this is a guy he happens. was pissing when the people are praying in the mosque. <laughs> he is in the mosque. It's a small room. It's not like a big uh, big place. So the guy he ends no, up but... zip and he grab his penis and he start pissing. And you are a prophet. He have no problem with that. According to the Bible, when Jesus saw the Jews sitting and buying in the temple, he flipped their tables and he kicked them out. How okay. come your should God? I, how come? How come your God, Muhammad, don't have any jealousy mm -hmm. for? Muhammad you know, is not my God. Alayhi salatu wasalam. He's my prophet. He's your God. No, he's my prophet. Okay. He's not my God. Say the shahada for me. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Translate. I would I bear witness that there is no god but God mm. and I bet I bear witness that Muhammad is a messenger of God. All right. Now, 
So now you just associate the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad. Why? No, I can say it in a different way. No, you cannot. I, I bear witness that God. I bear witness that God is. Uh, there is no God but God, and I witness that Muhammad and Jesus and Moses and Ibrahim. See, this are is not the shahada. Don't fabricate. No, this is not the shahada. This is not the shahada. This is a fabrication. So the shahada is in Islam is to put the name of Allah with the name of a man. His name is Muhammad. See, he did like my answer. And we just showed you. We just showed you. If the Quran says something and Muhammad says something, you must then follow the the the, 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 the Muhammad. You don't follow the Quran. You know what? I'm, I'm I'm afraid that I'm gonna piss you off, and then you're gonna hang up the phone on my face. Don't forget about. Don't gonna... forget. I would like you to piss me off. Don't worry. I want you to answer. Until now, you answer zero, nothing. We keep jumping from a place to a place because you have no answer. I showed you Please. that. I showed. I showed you. I showed you how dogs they 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 piss, and you said we have no problem with that. But yet, in the same time, you said to me, we are hy hygiene people. How you are hygiene? Oh, let me ask you. Don't put it in my mouth. Let me ask I you. Said... Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, how your prophet he used to clean himself i don't know maybe he go to wash himself i, I don't I, i'm not interested in how this small stuff how he go i should be but i'm not because this is not my religion my religion is the 10 commitments you have don't kill don't steal be good to your wife be good to your mother be good to this is the commitment the quran, I, want you have to be, I want to talk about this my the religion quran, doesn't have, say something else in the quran it says don't kill don't steal don't cheat the quran all of it is about killing and cheating and yalla, stealing i dare you yalla big me one all right bring here we go about killing bring all right me one about killing let's go step by step all of it you choose for me a chapter and i get you busted who's, who's now you said that when i bring something i back it with evidence right all yalla all please okay here we go hmm. Go, yalla. Verse by verse, please. Because there is one verse that said, if you kill one man, mm. it's as if you killed the whole humanity. And if you save one man, uh -huh. as if you save all the humanity. Mm, okay, but this is, was not for you. This is supposedly for Musa, as he is copying the Jews. In case no, you it's don't in remember. The Quran, though. It's in the yes, Quran, though. Yes, right? but this is supposedly Muhammad saying what, what God he says to Musa, not to Muhammad. So if Muhammad is saying God words, why he should what why he should go okay? If we go and read the interpretation for this one too, it says that those who they are, the the one innocent man is the one who is a Muslim. If he is not a Muslim, he is not innocent. Do you agree or not? I, I agree. Okay, so you can kill anyone who is not a Muslim, but if he is a Muslim, no, I didn't say I didn't say kill. I say I agree with what you said, and 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 uh, an honest man is a Muslim. Hmm. Muslim. This is what you said, right? Okay, so if a, not a Muslim, we can kill him, right? No, not kill him. He's not honest. That's it. Uh -huh. But you said to me, you just quote for me a verse saying, if you kill an innocent man, as if you killed all mankind, and you, and you just confirm, okay. and you just confirm. Okay, I want you to read this hadith for me. Yalla, go ahead. Go ahead. This is the da'if hadith. Uh, go, go to the left, please. It is a da'if hadith. Mm -hmm. Why you are giving it to me if it's hadith? What's wrong with da'if hadith? Is it bad? It's uh, no, it is weak. Uh, people say it's weak. It's not. Maybe it's probably not from Muhammad. So it's what? What weak mean? Like did not eat good? What happened? What? What do you mean by weak? Maybe it is a. It's a lie. Muhammad didn't say. Okay, read the hadith for me. Is. First, read the hadith for me, and tell me what do you think about it. Okay, you are the best <laughs> of people ever raised up for the benefit of mankind. Okay, the best of mankind are those who bring them with chains. Round their necks till they embarrass Islam, hmm. uh, uh, and thereby save them for the internal punishment and the hellfire, and make them enter Jannah hmm. and the Hira. Hmm. Okay. So, what do you think about this week hadith? What do I think about this week hadith? Hmm. Is it bad? My opinion, yani? hmm. Okay. I don't know who's he addressing you are the best of mankind. If he's talking about Muslims, mm. I don't agree with that. You don't agree. I'm not talking about Muslim, we Muslim. Mm. Because to us, in our eyes, Muslims are everyone who submit to God. It's not Arabs. So you don't agree? You don't agree that Muslims are the best of mankind? Yeah, not Muslims in particular. Anyone who submit his, his self to God, this is a Muslim to us. Yani, I mean, Ibrahim is a Muslim as well. My friend, Moses this is not a question. As well. No, th this is not a question. Those who submit to Allah supposedly according to you, aren't they Muslims anyway? Yes. Okay, so here, do you agree that the Muslims are the best of mankind? Yes or no? Yes, sure. Okay, and why Don't you it? have to bring people with the chains around their neck? 
I didn't understand that. What does it that mean? That does mean you attack me and you take me and you put a chin around my neck as a dog and you take me as a slave. Uh, maybe that's why it's Daif. See, that is why it's Daif. Uh, so, that's why it's so now it's Daif. So, do, so we reject it because it's exposing Islam, right? Because of course, it's Daif. Of course, we reject Of course. Okay. We I have a surprise for you. This is not Daif. This is Sahih. I said, if it's Daif. No, you said it's Daif. This is, you say, you see, in a second, this is why I say you are a kid. All of you Muslims are kids. All of you Muslims are a bunch of kids. A second ago, we rejected. Yeah, this is why we rejected because it's Daif. Yeah, this is why we rejected. You just said that. The second I say to you, I have a surprise for you. This is Sahih. Now, don't call me again. Let your dad call me. I did not open a nursing school. If you think I'm your mommy and I have nipples, I don't. Do you see how they are? They have no honesty. They're a prophet, oh brother. Oh Allah Prophet, he said, don't kill innocent people. But innocent people in Islam is those who converted to Islam. Otherwise, everybody is a target. You, Muhammad, he unleashed Islam on anyone and the fighters of Islam on anyone don't accept Islam. So the duty of a Muslim, and this is in the Quran, chapter 3, verse 110, it says you are the best of mankind. So the Muslims are fascist. The Muslims are Nazi. They think they are the best of mankind. And because they are the best of mankind, they believe they have the right to enslave every human being. It doesn't matter who you are. Why? Why you do that to yourself? Why you bring humiliation for yourself? Why you change your opinion in the speed of light? And this is why I say to you, Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, it doesn't matter who you are. When we debate Muslims, we don't debate them. They play games. They are not decent people. They never give a correct answer. They play. The answer is very depend how the situation is. It's a shameful cult. Disgusting cult. Imagine if we say we Christians, we have a duty to go bring them all with chains, and we can do that. Muslims are no match for us in any meaning, anyway. But we are not filthy. Jesus said, love your enemy. Muhammad, he says, kill them. Bring them with the chains around their necks. And the liar yesterday, he was telling me that in Islam, we are not permitted to own slaves. And the prophet of Islam, one of his names actually, was Ba'i'ul Abid, the one who sells slaves. And he bought and he sold and he made and he created millions of slaves. Until now, slavery is lawful in Islamic countries. Do you see how shameful this cult is? Why you are calling me Abdul? I am calling you because you are making a joke of yourself. When I when I destroy you, you hang up the phone on my face. Come oh on. boy, he destroyed me. <laughs> I did. Yeah, there is people listening. You know, there. brother, you remind me when you have you Muslim, you have war with Israel and you lose the war, and each time you claim victory. So the first war with Israel, you lost. The second war with Israel, you lost. The third war, you lost Jerusalem, and still until now you claim victory. 
No, we are not claiming victory. And you do, and you celebrate victory no, every year. Hmm. Let me ask you now. Did you uh, say to me that I reject this wait, hadith because no, it's no, no, daif? No, no. We lost the war, but why did we lose the war? Because because of people like you, people in Palestine are killed and dead every day. They are yeah. dying every day because people of you. Okay, what? Uh, let me you ask you. What you are doing? Okay, hold on, you know hold, what on. You are doing? hold on, hold you on, are hold saying, on. If you, you ask me, if, if you ask me, I would love to go and join the U.S. The, the, the Israeli army in case there is a war because this is their land and I can prove it. Ah, uh, this is what I want to talk about. Mm. You want uh, to talk about this? Uh, bring a Palestinian guy and bring mm. a, an Israeli guy. Uh -huh. Ask both of them. Mm. Ask the ask the Palestinian guy. Mm. Where were your fifth grandfather? He will tell you buried in Palestine. So what? Ask the other Israeli guy. So him, where is your fifth grandfather? Yeah, the he first will tell time, you hold on. The first time the Muslim they enter the land, it is during the attack of Omar ibn Khattab. Before that, there is nothing is called Arab in that land. Do you agree? Mm. Before that, well, Arab was not exist. Come no. on, Arabs but was was. Uh, we are descended from the Ismailis. What Ismaili? Ismailis? Don't give me this garbage, my friend. This no, don't go there now. Listen. Garbage, in Jerusalem, in the attack of Jerusalem, all everybody knows that Omar al Khattab is the one who attacked Jerusalem and he took it. So and before Arabs? that, nobody speak Arabic oh, there. Let me ask you now. Let me ask you. The Jews they say that Jerusalem is their city and Israel is their land. Do you agree with them or not? No, I don't agree. So you are saying whoever says that is a liar. I say who, whoever says that uh, Israel, their land is in uh, in in, uh, in Palestine. Yeah. Is a liar? No, 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 no. It's they started there, but now it's not their land. No, no, Palestine. Land. Why now it's not their land? Why, why now it's not their land? Who is the one who gave them that land? Oh my God! Don't okay, say oh my God. So, so oh, say oh my father. So, oh my Allah. Okay. Say, don't no, say. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. Now you are in America, right? No, I am in China now. Okay, America. Mm. Uh, didn't they come and they slay? Uh, they killed uh, all the Indians. No, that's not true. It's not true. Not true. The Indian they were killing each other almost. They are finished killing each other. And actually, let Indian, me let me tell you Indian. let me tell you about America, Abdul. In America, if you are an Indian, you don't pay tax. I pay tax, which means an Indian in America they are treated more high than any American. They have a special right. In the Middle East, you took Jerusalem from the Jews. Do you treat them oh, equally to the no. Muslims? No. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham have hmm. two kids, hmm. right? Really and. Yes, Ishmael mm -hmm. and Jacob, and we are we are brothers. Okay, okay, we, we will go there. We will oh. go there later. We'll go later. Now, answer me. Who is the one? Who is the one who gave Israel the Israeli their land? God. God. Who? Who? Which? which what is the name of that God? Allah. Okay, Allah. He gave the Israeli the land, right? So why Allah? Why you are saying this is not the land of the Israeli? Yeah, God, God told them, He didn't tell them, go and kill everybody. No, actually, he told them to go and kill everybody. Yeah, to, this is, uh, yeah, see, this is according to your scripture. No, this is according to your Quran. Do you want to show you? Yeah, show me that in the Quran, God yes. tells Bani Israel, go and kill everybody. All right, no problem. Here we go. Let us go to the Quran and show you. And you, in a second, you will say to me, this is a da'if Quran. You no, promise no, no, me? No, this is Quran. There is no da'if and no Okay, here we go. This is the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 20. Read it. Yeah. Amen. I read my scripture in Arabic. Read it in any language you want. Let me read it for you in in in, in, in Urdu. You know, the God do 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 the the Quran did not say to the Jews go and kill whoever there when the Quran saying that the the God the God do 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 when when Moses when Moses said uh, unto his people, mm. "Oh my people, remember Allah favor uh, unto you, how how He placed among you prophets, mm. and He made you kings, and gave you that which He gave not to any others." Mm. Very good. So very good. Continue, brother. Continue, brother. Don't stop. Very good. Okay. okay. Any any other of His creatures? Okay. Oh my people, go mm. into the holy land, mm. which Allah. And read for you, then not and fight. <laughs> so it's not. It's telling him not to go and fight everybody. It says that. Surely, it says that. Oh, it says go and fight. 
it says go and fight mm. they're not in fight it says right uh, no a flight this is a flight this is not fight my friend you are not reading it rightly it's not the flight it says it's not the fight it says a flight see that's why i'm telling you give me my scripture in arabic right no problem you can let us read the first in english and you can read it in arabic no problem okay. they said oh moses mm. uh, um uh a giant people mm. uh, uh train and no uh, we go not into see it doesn't make sense in english that's why you guys have a confusion he said to him in, in the palestinian they are giant people your your reaction out of fact is not even the size of of, of my to the, to the height of my knee so as you see the palestinian have nothing to do with those who call them palestinian today those are giant people and here you will see it says oh, that he is, is ordering all that argument he is old no this is not my argument your ar argument is your allah he ordered the Why, jews to go and kill the palestinian the you said to me you? shut up you said to me nowhere in the shut quran up, it says up. it says shut you, up, you say it let me let me, let me let me spank you nicely you said and everybody heard you everybody heard you listen you said nowhere in the Quran it says Allah he said to the to the Jews go and kill the Palestinian and the verse in the front of you and then well, the you Jews, are putting it in Arabic my it's, I, will, I will put it in Arabic here we go you know read it first in English yalla I read it in English Thank okay you no much. you did not finish yet no Arabic? you did not finish the Jews refused to kill the Palestinian they refuse Allah get angry from them and he cursed them for that and he made them lose their way in the desert for 40 years no, that's not true. Not the true. Uh, now I remember. I show you that from the hadith. I can show you that from the hadith, brother. Okay. See, if I, I show you a daif hadith, you accept the story. It says that Allah He cursed them and He made them lose the way for forty okay. years. Can you let me talk now? I'm asking you. Because if I show you the hadith where it says Allah yeah. He made them lose their way for that forty hadith. years. Go back to Arabic. This scripture I want it in Arabic. No don't problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. I'm asking you. If I show you the hadith where your prophet said it that is Allah not the He. This one is a Quran. I want to uh, I want to talk about Quran. So you don't accept hadith now? No, I accept hadith. Okay, that, now I want to talk okay, about so, this. Don't jump so, the gun. So now if in, in, so because now the Quran did not mention that Allah he made them the lose the way for 40 years, you don't accept it? Oh my god, see? Yeah, you do are you, do you like accept, a do you accept, like a do you accept that Allah he made them lose the way for 40 years because they refused to kill the Palestinian, or you don't accept that? You don't? It was not. God told them. God told them there is a bad people in this place. Mm. Go and fight. Mm. That was the story. Not Palestinian and what you are saying. Ah, are yeah, those are not Palestinian. Uh -huh. they, they, they didn't go. They okay. Didn't go. Okay. My listen. Friend. Listen. So did Allah curse them because they did not go and kill those people, and He made them lose their way for forty years? Yes. But you said to me, there's nowhere in the Quran it says Allah. No, he said, tell go me, and they the said to me, God told them, go fight these people because they are very bad people and they did corrupt in the land. Go fight mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where it says that? Where, where, it's, where it says that? Where it says that in the Quran that they are corrupting in the land? Go and fight that. them. Unfortunately, the Israelis they felt. Uh, where it says? Where it says? Why? Where it says that those are bad people and this is why you can kill them? Can you tell me why you didn't put the verse in Arabic? I will put it in Arabic because at first I want to get you busted. You, answer, answer. you can read it in Arabic in your website. Open your website. I give you the verse number. I give you the chapter number. What's wrong with you? Now listen, and I'm sure you have it in the front of you. Now I'm asking you, when you say to me, yes, Allah, he ordered them to kill the people who live in that land. That's mean you admitted that those are not your people. Those are different people, correct? Uh, uh, what is your point? Uh, uh, yeah. What so now point? my point is that you are a liar. You Arab know the Arab never been there. We are the Arab. We now. are the Arab, and you are not an Arab. I think you are. You are an immigrant from somewhere. I am an I Arab. Am you are not. Yemen. And listen, we never been there, and we never enter in that land until Omar al-Khattab he came. And you are a liar. And here you just okay. say, and you just said, admit, and you are, you, you just admitted those are not Palestinian. Everybody heard you. Guys, did he say those what are not Palestinian? <laughs> so Yalla, why okay you i am asking you, you i'm asking you, you know why allah created you. war why allah gave the jews the land if he didn't deserve it do allah knew the future that the jews are not good why he gave them the land okay can i answer now your question Go ahead. please let me answer yeah okay uh, you are talking about Umar ibn Khattab. Umar ibn Khattab, when he came, he didn't take the land. I'm not talking way. about Umar Khattab now. I'm talking why no, Allah no, no, gave no. them. mentioned Umar ibn Why Khattab. Allah gave the land to the Jews? Keep, stay with me. Focus, focus. Stop playing uh. with your nose. Why Allah, he said to the Jews, this is the land Allah assigned into you. He assigned, assigned 
it's a land or the night for you it's or the night for you like heaven so Allah yeah. is the one who said that he gave them the ownership of the land yeah Hmm. But but they got lost in the desert because they didn't follow his. Uh, okay, but rules, then he right? led them. Still, he took them there and he gave them the land. 40, 40, 40. No, he didn't give them. He told them go take the land if they do his words. They didn't. Do no, his no, words. no, no, no. Here we go. The story there. It says. It says. You, you see, just to show you how silly you are. The verse in the this is the verse in the Quran. It's not a hadith. It says the Lord said to them, "For this, this land will be surely forbidden for them for forty years only." Which means the forbidden is going to be only for forty years. Why you are lying? I'm not lying. It's you in front of you. People. Why you are lying, the brother? You know you have some people in your uh, chat. Brother, don't, don't change the topic, brother. Bro brother, right now, don't change the topic. It says, it says, it says, brother, brother, it says forbidden for you for forty years, not forever. You will not let me talk, right? Mm. No, I'm letting you talk, but I cannot let you okay. s s skip. Mm. Okay, please. There is some people here in your chat. They are writing. This guy who's talking to Christian is a little bit intelligent than the people he used to talk to. So maybe you are used to talk to maybe people who doesn't know Arabic or stuff like that. No, my friend. But with me, you let cannot me, deceive me. Let me tell you the, the history of people who talk to me. We have donkeys. We have a mule. We have little little mule. So you talk to donkeys? Oh, you yes, understand donkeys? Yes. Like Will your prophet you spoke to too, Okay, right? let me ask you. Did your prophet ask a donkey, do you like females? Me, um, Allah, your questions are stupid about donkeys. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you are the one who said to me you talk to donkeys. Did your prophet ask a donkey, do you like females? Yes or no? Oh my god. Hey, let's me let me let's talk about better points. Why are you trying to talk about it? So yes, I talk to donkeys now. Okay, so so you're a prophet, you're a prophet. He spoke to a donkey and he asked him and he said, Do you like females? And then the donkey looked like he was a gay. He said, No, he got angry. Now we go back to the zero. Now Allah said it's forbidden for you to enter the land for 40 years, which means this is the only anger. The curse is for 40 years. And after that, this is your land. Where Allah, he gave the land back to the Palestinian in the Quran. When Umar al-Khattab came. Where Umar al-Khattab, he was sent by Allah, saying to him, this is the land, take it. Where it says, no, of course Umar al-Khattab was sent by Allah. Aha, uh -huh, he's a prophet. Okay, hold on. Guys, no, did, did yeah, he... Prophet to whom? Wait a minute, let me finish. Hmm. He was mentioned in, 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 in the Jewish book. That's why I'm telling you, Umar al-Khattab, he didn't fought them and take the land from them. Mm. They opened the door for Umar al-Khattab and they let him enter. Mm. This is the right story. Right, this is the right story. Will he surrender the, the city? And by the way, and by the way, time, by the way, don't call me again. By the way, don't call me again. You're a kid. Go and read the pact of Umar. Everybody will laugh at you. They forced to open this, the, the city because they will kill them all. Die or agree with my pact. And the pact of Umar, you can read it in if you read the chapter 9, verse 29, interpretation of Sahih of, of, uh, of Ibn Kathir, you will see the pact of Umar there where he humiliated the Christians and he destroyed their life. And he forced them to pay the jizzy like dogs. And actually, I have no respect for those Christians who live in that city at that time, and I call them cowards. I prefer to die before I let those savage people enter my city and force us to live like dogs. Just try to do that again with us, and you will see what will happen. We are free people, and we live free, and we will die free. And this is what we did with you with ISIS and Al-Qaeda in Iraq and in Syria. Cowardness will lead you to a disgrace. Jesus never taught us to be cowards. Never. To be merciful, yes. To be loving, yes. But not to be cowards. We are the Christians. And we don't hesitate to give our life for the Lord and to our family and to our land. And the one when I take it from us, you have to think not twice a hundred times before he do that. And as you see, Islamic countries are not Islamic countries and they are coming back to our hand. Glory to the Lord. Jerusalem is not yours. No more. And soon even Mecca is going to be turned out of your hand. 
the Muslim they made a mistake when they say that Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba that's mean the one who should have the Kaaba is the Jews or at least they should have 50% of it same time the Muslim they lie and they say that Muhammad is from Ishmael and this is a very silly argument because Ishmael was not an Arab and he is not the father of the Arab for the Arab was exist before Ishmael Even in their silly books it says that Ishmael he married from the tribe of Jerham Which is the enemy of the tribe of Muhammad So how Muhammad can be from Ishmael if Ishmael he did not marry from the tribe of Muhammad He married from the enemy of the tribe of Muhammad As you see, this is the land of the Jews, and even the Quran confirm. And the funny that the whole Quran never mentioned the word Palestine once. Do you believe it? Not even a single time. Imagine I am an Arab and I marry a Chinese, yet my son is a German. I mean, how silly that argument is. Ishmael is a son of his father, and his father is Arami. And his mother is Egyptian. So at least we can say he's half Egyptian, half Arami. How that can make him the father of the Arab when the Arab they are exist before him? They say to you that he married an Arab. So if I go right now, to uh, China and marry a Chinese I became the father of the Chinese the Chinese exist long before me I just marry a woman even the Quran confirmed it says that call them by the names of their father which mean the sons should follow the identity of the father not the identity of the mother which mean if the children of Ishmael are born they should be called as Ishmael called he is Aramaic for Ishmael is born of Abraham who is Aramaic too very silly stupid argument it goes even against the Quran and nowhere in the Quran it says even in the Quran it says that Muhammad is from Ishmael not only that the silly Quran confirm that the prophethood is in the children of Abraham from Isaac and Jacob only Read with me carefully and laugh at the stupid author of the Quran. Chapter 29. Don't call me, please, if you are a Christian, otherwise I will block you. Don't call without permission, please. You are just disturbing me. And we bestowed on him Isaac and Jacob, and we established the prophethood and the scriptures among his seed. Which seed? As you see, he mentioned Jacob and Isaac. Do you see it? Same time, Ishmael have nothing to do with the Arab. And actually the Arab are not even an ethnic group you see I am an Arab supposedly but we are not really a nation the Arab is whoever live in the desert the Arab is an Aramaic word mean people who live in the desert it's the same as you say to the gypsy so you can say hey gypsy I look like a gypsy sometime I like music la, 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 la. Hmm? and we eat hummus by the way hummus is not Arabian food all the food you see in the Middle East, this is have nothing to do with the Arab. The Arab they eat only simple food because they live in the desert. Palm, palm date, uh, milk, ch cheese, you know, like something from the cow, from not the cow, sorry, from the goats. Even even cows don't have. They don't do farming, they have nothing to do with farming, so their food is limited. Uh, so all the food you see, this is not even Arabian food. Like you see, if you go to some countries, those are countries we occupy them and we force them to speak our language. And then we took whatever they have. We took their food, we took their civilization, and we claim it to Islam. Muslims do not know until now how to build the house. 
until now if you go to the Middle East you will see that all jewelry stores they take off in Saturday and Sunday why because nobody knows how to make jewelries except the Christians and the Jews in the Middle East even the mosque of the Muslims is built by Christians and the one who they are great and wonderful they are hijacked by the Muslims they used to be churches as an example the mosque they call it Al-Aqsa this is not a mosque and never was exist this is the temple of the Jews as an example the biggest mosque in Damascus this is not a mosque this is a Christian church same in same in Egypt, same in Iraq, same, 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 same. You go same in Turkey. All of Turkey is not their land. This is not, there's nothing is called Turkey. This is the Constantinia, and this is our land, and we will take it back. No matter how long time goes, we will have it. We will have it, and our church's doors will open again. It's just a matter of time. If you go right now to countries like Imarat, who built Imarat? Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, Muslims, Big Billy sitting home doing nothing. Until now in Saudi Arabia, they do not, there's more than 70 to 80 percent of the population do not know how to write, how to read. They don't even have people who clean garbage in the street. Even those they import them from abroad. It's a lazy nation. I am from there and we know what we are. I'm talking about myself, my people, not talking about someone is a foreigner. And then in the top of that, we have something that's called the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is the biggest disaster in economy and civilization for the Arab and Muslims. Why? Because you have one month a year is dead month. People do nothing. Nothing. Big Billy. And yet they claim they are fasting. In fact, in the month of Ramadan, everybody gain weight at least 10 to 15 kilograms. And the price of food skyrocketing because people are eating like goats. There's no jobs. There's no companies are open. Nobody do any business. Everything is dead. And the Muslim, they call it fasting, but in fact, it's the month of sleeping because all what they do, they sleep all day and they wake up all night to eat. The morning come, we sleep again and we open our eyes 5 or 6 p.m. and we eat again. All what they do, they flip the day, night, and the night day. Yet they claim that this is a month of fasting when the fact this is a month of food and eating. Hmm? Now, <clears throat> Shall we give uh, 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 Mr. Uh, uh, Alawi a chance to call us again, guys? What do you think? Do you like him? Be honest with me. Do you like him? He's funny, isn't he? He's funny, but he's uh, like he's a kid. But he's an, he's an adult. He's not a kid. He's like maybe, I don't know, maybe he's uh, 30, 40. I'm not sure how old is he. But I, if and, and he's funny, he says to me, ah, people in the text, they are saying that I am smarter than the rest. And if you are the smarter than the rest of Muslims, how horrible the situation for Muslims then? If you are the smarter, and you are saying you agree that you are the smartest between the Muslims, how bad the situation, my friend, is? If this is the smarter between the Muslims, I mean, this is really, really a big problem.
Do we have any Muslim would like to say something? Hmm? You know, when he was so proud about himself that he is the best between the Muslims, I think he felt so good. I think he wanted his wife to hear this. Hey, wife, look what they are saying about me. Come here, come here. You remind me of your God saying in the Quran that he is the best of the creators. And I find it very funny and very stupid how he says that he is the only creator, but he, is, he says he is the best of the creators. Same as when you said, I am the best of the stupid. Allah is the best of the creators. How that can be? Either here Allah is being funny and silly and stupid, or Allah is bored. He decided to make up creators beside Him and He agreed that He is not the only God. <clears throat> By the way, guys, brothers and sisters, I was number one in my classroom. Actually, I was number one in the whole school. But what I did not tell you that my school was at home and there's no other student but me How you can say he is the best of the creators if there's no other creators The story behind this we know it a guy was sitting with Muhammad He is his scribe. His name is Abdullah ibn Sarah When Muhammad he recited that verse before he arrived here to this point the guy he added, so please be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, put it there. The guy, he said, but what? He said, but what you just said. He said, but this is what I said. He said, but it, it, it came to me the same as it came to you. <laughs> and because of that, the guy, he left Islam. And he starts saying to everybody, Muhammad is a big fat liar. I said to him, and he said, I said to him so and so. And he say, write it there. So if Muhammad is a prophet inspired by God, well, I am then a prophet inspired by God too, because I am the one who said that. And this is all written in their Islamic books, not in the Christian books. All this, all this scandal is in their Islamic books. Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Huh? Actually, I wasn't the best in the class because when I enter a classroom, that the student run away. Unbelievable. I was a very good student. I have a good grade. Don't take me wrong, but. I don't know for some reason I don't like it, uh, the, the you see the the system in the Middle East the the, the teachers they, they treat uh, student as a slaves and I cannot take that so every day I have a fight with the teacher not with the students the teacher he go to the classroom he says where is this guy where is this guy they hear news about me he said listen to me I am not like the other teacher I'm warning you if you think you can do the same to me as you do to the other teachers, I am I am not the same. And all the kids, they say to him, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> all of them, they say the same as you. Just wait. They used to slavery. I'm not used to it. They love to dictate. They love to make you a toy. The mentality of Islam have an impact on everything. School government, everything, even household. The parents in the Middle East, they feel they own the children. It's not like a gift from God. So they treat them like slaves. The government, they, they, own, they own the people. It's not we are serving the people. And this is exactly what Muhammad, he did. You see, the Muslim, they lie to us and they say, Muhammad was a very just man. Muhammad was servant of Allah Muhammad he made verses saying who want to give me her vagina not only dictating your life he is dictating the vagina of your wives imagine it's written in their books that the Prophet was offered a privilege or Allah gave him a privilege 
and one of them if the if the prophet eyes fall into a woman her husband he have to divorce her immediately so the prophet he can if her have you ever heard of a religion like this if the prophet eyes fall into a woman bum and he like it you the husband you have to get rid of your wife immediately otherwise he will kill you it's a religion of dictatorship Anyone have uh, anyone knows where we can find the video where the guy he said to us that Allah he made Adam sin because Allah wanted to be known if somebody have that video if you know where we can find it so give it to me so we can play a little bit of it imagine even that the sin of Adam Islam teach that Adam was a victim of Allah Allah dictate the sin of Adam Allah dictate your sin my sin Allah wrote your sin before he created you as a destiny, which means you do not have a choice to do or not to do. It's a stupid cult. And as you see, everything we're saying, we can prove it. Easy. All those reference saying it clearly that Adam was a victim of Allah and Muhammad is a proud about that Allah do you blame me Moses he was debating Adam which is funny I mean how they can debate if both are dead but let it go Muhammad he say things so Adam and Moses they have an argument and the debate and Musa says to him, because of you, we are kicked out of heaven. Adam said to him, you Musa, you are favored by God. He spoke to you. He wrote the Torah for you by his hand. Yet do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? Decreed that I should do. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? So the whole sin story, according to Islam, it was a decree by Allah. And we are sinners because he wrote for each one of us 40 years before he created us what we will be. How that can be from God. This is not about knowing the future. This is about decreed what I should do. A Muslim, he tried to play game. He says to you, oh, this is about God. He knew the future. This is not about knowing the future. This is about writing the future. Decreeing the future, which you should do. You cannot escape. And this is why the Muslim guy, he said to us in the debate that, yes, Adam was a victim of Allah and Allah, he decreed his sin because Allah, he wanted to be known. Allah wanted to be known. Well, nice to meet you. Just because Allah, he wanted to, to be known. He make us commit sin and he for us to commit sin in different hadith. Muhammad he said that if you do not commit sin
Allah will destroy you. And replace you with people who commit sin. If you study this statement from Muhammad, it's a clear statement from him of how he is trying to scare the Muslims, saying to them, You should do sin as much as you can, yet just ask Allah for forgiveness. That's it. This is the whole idea of Islam. And your sin is a destiny, it's not even a choice. And here you will see that. Muhammad here give us a very clear image that his God is a self uh, He have suffering from self uh, loneliness. He's lonely. He have he need people to to say please forgive us By him who is the hand is my life Muhammad is swearing by Allah Muhammad swear by Allah Allah swear by the fig Allah swear by the day Allah swear by afternoon. <laughs> I never heard of a God like this if you were not to commit sin Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you with people who commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah and then he would burden them so Allah have a special joy the joy is commit sin so you can say please forgive me please I need to be forgiven please if you don't commit sin you will not ask for forgiveness And Allah will not enjoy his life so when you commit sin as a Muslim you are doing a favor to God how silly how stupid this cult is Abbas is just a kid. If he can bring somebody with him, I will take his coat. You have to bring an adult with him. If he can bring an adult, I will let him talk. I am not Muhammad who enjoy playing with kids. You remember the Prophet? When he saw uh, one of his uh, uh, companions, they were going to steal some money from the neighbors. And in their way back, uh, the man, he went to go home fast. So Muhammad, he said to him, why you are rushing to go home? The guy, he said, I am in newly married. Which means he missed his wife. Muhammad, he said to him, why? Did you did you marry did you marry a widow did you marry a woman she is not a virgin or you didn't marry a little child the man he says well I married a widow Muhammad said why 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 you stupid you do that why you don't marry a young girl so she can play with you and you can play with her Muhammad he encouraged a man to marry Aisha again a girl with some dollies and Barbies Asif I have to hang up on you. I have to hang up on you do you know why because we said all the Christians please don't call unless you ask first if you can call sorry CP. All right, no I'm problem. gonna ask you no problem. thank you sorry, CP. yes Ahmed why you are calling again yeah okay I'm calling because you are saying nonsense man. why okay here we go a man his name is Jabir and he married a woman she is a widow and your prophet saying to him why you don't marry a little baby so you can sport with her And this is the Eve hadith. Okay, you're saying it's a Daif hadith. Now you're gonna tell me no, it's not Daif hadith. It's uh, it's a strong hadith. Are you scared now? <laughs> Are you scared? Uh, 
So what do you say about your prophet saying that? Okay, can I read it in Arabic, please? Sure, sure, go ahead. Hold on. How is your Arabic doing, by the way? Put it in Arabic, Tayyip. Okay, Tayyip. Hello, Christian. I put it for you in Arabic. Go, read. Allah, wait. Hmm. Wait, please, please wait. Hmm. Because you have a, you always like to hang up on the people. What I can do? I mean, I lose my patience with kids. But this, I, I want to address two points or three points before we close. No problem. Let's finish this one and you can go. حدثنا آدم حدثنا شعبة حدثنا محارب قال سمع بن جابر بن عبد الله رضي الله عنهما يقول تزوجت فقال لي رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما تزوجت فقلت تزوجت تيبا which means he married someone who was divorced فقال ما لك وللعذارة ولعابها فذكرت ذلك لعمر بن دينار فقلت عمر سمعت جابر بن عبد الله يقول لي رسول الله صلى الله هذا جارية تلاعبها وتلاعبك <تصفيق> Your prophet saying what? That why you don't marry? Why you don't marry someone? So you can. She is a virgin, so you can play with her. Explain to us how how okay. it's different to play with the virgin, and why he cannot play with the women. She is a widow or she is divorced. Okay. And it says Jaria, which means a young girl. Hmm. So why okay. your prophet advising a man who is already married? You are married, right, Ahmed? I am married. Okay. So imagine you see your prophet with my respect, your wife, <coughs> and he says to you, "Hey, Ahmed, did you marry a woman? She is a virgin, or no? You say no. I married a divorced woman." And then he says to you, "Why? Why, Ahmed? Why, Habibi? Why, Habibi, <laughs> Ahmed, Habibi? Why you don't marry a young girl, Habibi? They are fun, Habibi. We can play with no, them, Habibi. Let us I play with the girls, them. Habibi. It's good to have a young girl so we can play with her, Habibi. What do you think okay. about that? Okay, well, like Christian, if I come to wherever you are one day, I will offer to be your friend. I swear, no problem because you're a funny guy, huh? I, I agree, I agree. Habibi, yeah. but you, you, uh, forget about me, funny guy. It's the funny is your prophet here. I mean, the guy is happily married. He want to go why and see his wife. What the business of Muhammad? Okay, why you have a problem with this verse? Can you tell well, me? Uh, if I, if I, okay, with my respect to your family, again, I'm not insulting. Thank you very much. For let us say, let us say, let us say, your sister is married to a guy. His name is Jabir. And then okay. I am a prophet Muhammad, and I say to Jabir, "Hey Jabir, why you married the sister of Ahmed Khabibi, uh, Jabir? What's wrong with you? Marry why a child, Khabibi. Married a child, a young child, Khabibi. So it's fun. So we can Maybe. play with them. And you are saying to me, what's the problem? Be honest. Okay. You will not be angry. You will not be angry if somebody is saying that to you, your brother-in-law. I will be honest. Hmm. First of all, yani theoretically, I don't uh, don't know where you bring this from. You will say now it's Sahih. Maybe, maybe not." Uh, there is 6,000 saying or hadith from Rasulullah now mm. one two mm. uh, What is the problem with this? Okay, one guy is telling one guy why you married a, a 30 years old woman when you can marry a 20 years old woman my friend, So what is the problem? My with friend, that? Okay, hold on first of all he didn't say mm. child you are taking a child No, it says no, it says it saying. says Jerry. Yeah, it's a it's a child. It's a young young female Secondly, uh, you are saying what's wrong? I mean, a guy he is married. Why you are tempting tempting him? You are tempting the man to leave uh, the wife he have and to uh, look for a child. And the purpose is what? Is not to have a family. It's just to play with her. Uh, is okay. that ethical for you? Be honest with me, Ahmed. Is <laughs> that okay? I, I am honest with you. Hmm. I am honest with you. My 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 question, my answer will be, with you to you will be. Hmm. Uh, as I told you, I don't know where is this hadith. I, this is the first time I heard it. Second mm. of all, mm. uh, you are talking about ancient Arabs, man. It's the same point you talked to me about Aisha yesterday. Mm. He married her, you said it at six. Mm. Uh, there is people saying at nine. You don't know people, and even Jewish people, even uh, 1,000 years before Muhammad, they mm. were getting married at six and seven and eight and nine. You know, my first wife, my, my first, my first wife, my first wife was an imperial. Your first wife what? was an embryo. What does that mean? Sorry, I didn't understand. Before that. she was born, I get married to her. 
Ah, uh, mm. and we have uh, babies before she maybe. is born. I mean, what are you talking about, man? Listen, here we go. We have an ethical problem here. What is the business? Think, uh, the man is not thing. complaining. The man is not complaining. He is happily married. He want to go and see his wife. Why the devil? This is the devil. Why the devil is tempting the man to leave the wife he have and he is happy with her and to go and to find a child and the purpose is what? It's just to have fun. Okay. Why don't you talk about Muhammad when he said don't kill a tree, don't kill a woman, don't kill a old Did man. Muhammad kill trees? Huh? Did Muhammad kill trees and burn trees? No, he didn't. What if I show you what you will do? What? Maybe you will show me an incident maybe uh -huh. because there was a tree between two guys and uh -huh. then he took it. What about your prophet? Not only cutting trees, not only burning trees, he is cutting necks of people. Not only that, what about your yeah. prophet? He dig the grave of dead people. I will ask you about this guy, the one who cut his neck. I will ask you, I will tell you why did, did he your cut prophet his neck? cut the trees? Yes or no? Well, I never heard about him. Look like you never heard of anything. No, I this is what I'm saying. What you are saying, I never heard about it. Mm. This is what I want to tell you. Do you see what you are saying in Muslim community? Do you see that we slave people now? Do you because see you that cannot, we, you cannot, we, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot. If you can, you will. If you can, because now the Muslims are not a major power in the world. You cannot. You cannot. Why and I can, I and when you can, you do. And this is what happened in Syria. Truth. How many slaves you have in Syria? How many slaves you have in Iraq? How many slaves you have in Mauritania? Mauritania now the biggest Islamic country in the world for slavery. More than 80% of the population are slaves. Okay. Have you ever this heard of a country 80% is, is slaves? So I'm well, asking I you now, when, when ISIS, they enslaved people, did they do exactly what Muhammad did? Okay, well, I a Christian, to mm -hmm. be honest, I went to Syria, I didn't see slavery. Mm -hmm. I went to Egypt, I didn't where see you went? Where, where you went? Did you go to uh, under Islamic rules? I went, or to, you Aleppo. Go? I went to, to Damascus, mm -hmm. of course, before yeah, the war. This is, this is, yeah, but the this is not Islamic, this is, not, this is a secular guy, the, the leader there, the government is secular. If we have an Islamic country, real Islamic okay, country... Wait a minute, if you're saying it's not Islamic, why mm -hmm. you just brought it as an example? You said in, in Syria there is uh, slavery. Well, I was uh, talking about what, Syria just Whatever now. they establish Islam, you have a slavery isis is a true islam and they have a slaveries uh, isis are not muslims really why because first of all they are not carrying <laughs> they are carrying american weapons thank you very much you are Second carrying american point, weapon too what country you are from i am from yemen i'm not okay carrying don't you carry american i can show you right now you are carrying american weapon no okay yes even if though we are carrying russian and american <laughs> weapons who are selling this you are doing you cannot make even an, uh, you can make even a needle so you have to carry our weapon we uh, you admit now this is not the problem uh -huh. the problem is thank you very much so mm -hmm. you are the only source to get the weapon so how right. did isis get this weapon they attacked the iraq the iraqi army and the iraqi army the coward ran away and they took all their arms that's Very simple. True. Yes, this is a true. That's, let us say, let us say, okay, hold on. Let us say the American they gave them the weapon, but still they are Islamic and they are fighting for the sake of Allah. Yes. And okay, they are this doing is a exactly point to talk about. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. This is an intelligent talk now. Mm. Okay, let's say American did them uh, give them. Why American would give them? Because they will have agenda. I want. I will not say okay. American so in the, particular. So the we'll stupid, say, so the I will say so foreign. The, okay, no problem. Let us say the CIA when I do have an agenda. Okay, but why? But. Is ISIS Islamic or not? Uh, uh, of course not. We, we all right. redeem them. We okay, let us, let us do this. Let us do this. No, you did not redeem anyone. The one who fought them is not the Muslims. Is the Christians and and Yazidi and Kurdish? Who they are not Muslims and the Christians. Well, now listen, well, listen, this listen. What you say? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Ask me. Name for me one thing ISIS did. Your prophet did not do. My prophet did not. My prophet did not uh, burn one man alive. In a cage okay what if i show you that your prophet he was even going to burn muslims for not coming to the mosque on friday i would not believe it if, even if you show me even if i show you yes why because i trust my religion because my religion my religion message is different than what you are telling me now ah. it's really different. <laughs> okay, listen, uh, what you are saying now yeah christian be, yeah. be logical what you are saying now is a very old argument why because there is 2 billion or 1.8 billion muslim now in the world ah, what you are saying is my friend everybody, my friend first of all first of all you muslims are not even 1 billion 
You can't everybody live in the Middle East. You can't oh, really? everybody live in Indonesia. You are can't you, everybody. Are you, are you, are you, yes, I know what I'm talking about. And you are not the majority. Realize, do you realize yes. that you are talking in front of thousands of people? Listen I'm to you. talking Anyone in front of thousands of people. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Indonesia is the biggest Islamic country in the world, correct? True. True. Do you calculate all the Indonesian as Muslims? No, not all the Indonesian. No, you do. Muslims. When you calculate your Muslims, I said, so stop, stop lying. When you calculate, you say, okay, Indonesia have the two, the 200 million something. All of them, they are Muslim. In the fact, this is not true. More than two, more than 10 to 15 percent are Christians, oh. and there's other Hindus, and there's the other religion. Same as you do so, in all other countries. Same when you calculate militia. So when you calculate Egypt. Very good. So, so can so, you tell me please so how same, time, same, time, same time, same time, same time, same time. How many, how many people in Saudi Arabia are Muslims? How we will know? Because okay. because you force everybody to say I'm a Muslim. There's no freedom. So how we will know how how, how many real Muslims are? There's no numbers. There's no can way. You have you ever heard of a country have zero gays? Country have zero gays? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, those Islamic countries, right? Yes, so yeah. that means Why? that our society is straightforward. No, that's that because your society is society of terrorists. Oh, terrorists. Okay, yeah. tell me one thing. Okay, let me no no don't don't tell me tell me tell, tell me something. No, listen. Okay, want to talk? If no you problem. give them if you Go give on. them freedom and then you will see that how many gays you have, and then we will find how many Muslims you have. So okay. you cannot count how many people they are there. Mm. Unless we give them a freedom. And I ask you a question. Don't about now let us go yeah. back. You said your prophet did no, not no, burn. No, no, you are you are just you, you are said just your prophet did not time. did not order to burn. What if I show you the hadith? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, how uh, Indonesia? You were talking about Indonesia. Fifteen percent of them are not Muslims. You said. Mm. So can tell you? Can you tell me how did this fifteen percent first of all mm. live with the majority of Muslim peacefully? My One my, percent. My, because Second you percent. don't have an Islamic government. Even the Indonesian who you call them Muslim, the majority of them they don't give a damn about Islam. They are Muslim uh, by name. This is Second the truth. Question. This is the truth. The same as Emirat. Why the Emirat? They have Christians there because without them you cannot even live. Why? Who is the one who protect all those countries? All those countries are protected either by America, either by England, either by France, either by somebody. So you don't have the upper hand, and this is the problem for you, Muslims. Now, okay. how many Muslims left in the earth? I think the number Another is question. shrinking. Another question, my friend. Don't change the topic. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Did your prophet order to burn people? Yes or not? No. Not, but I will answer. I will go with you with this point after you tell me no, how did the no. Islam what if I show you now? What if I show you that he did? I will not believe it. Why? Because Muhammad told us, La nar illa rabbun nar. Nobody can torture with fire except the God of fire, okay? Which but, is Allah. But he was going to burn people, right? Don't tell me he was going, did he? Okay, so he was going, but then he said to himself, hmm, I should not do that, right? See how you are using, see how you are using your point of arguments? Mm -hmm. you, are the, you are the one who, uh, no, I'm going with you. You are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me that he said, don't do it because this is the punishment of Allah, correct? Yes. Okay, so Muhammad, he did not do it. He changed his mind, but he was going to do it. Yes or no? Uh, no, I, I, he didn't do it. Yes, he was about to do it. This is the first time I hear it from you. Hmm. But uh, but for me, it's the same because okay. he didn't do it. Did Ali burn people alive? Who's Ali? Ali who? Ali, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Yes. Wajha. Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. So now I have to show you the Prophet says so and Ali says so. What do you say but if I if show Ali, you? No, you're saying he did. He didn't say so. He did burn some people. Yes. This is what you're saying. Yes. Ali. Ali, he did. Let us see first okay. your prophet. Ali, of course, Ali is. Read, one of read the with me. This is your prophet. This, this is your prophet. Okay, this is your prophet saying. No, Ali is not a prophet. He's a disciple of no. Muhammad. He's a cousin of. Muhammad. I understand the prophet. In, the prophet in Islam is Allah, and Muhammad is your God. We understand that. Now listen. Read with me carefully. No, 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 no. The prophet. In I Islam intended. Is Muhammad, Muhammad, God hold God. on. Muhammad what? said, "I intended that I should command a person to load people in a prayer." And then burn those person who absent themselves from the Juma prayer in their houses. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Hmm. Why your prophet? You are saying who said that? You are saying who your said prophet that? Muhammad. This is the Eve hadith. Hmm. Also, you are bringing the Eve. Can you see all your evidence? Okay, it's not the Eve. It is not the Eve. It's, it's strong. Here we go. Allah. Okay.
So what we will Who do? said it's strong? You said it's I strong? I said so. This is Sahih Muslim. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway. At, the end of the, at the end of the argument, uh -huh. the first word. Now we I go. intended. No. So he didn't do it. Okay. Thank you very but, much. But, but ISIS, they are right. They are following the Prophet. They have the right to do so. Now let us go. Let us go to Ali. If he didn't Ali. do it, then he, they haven't the right to do so. What? Logic. If he didn't do it, they don't have the right to do it. So, logic. He intended. Are you saying your prophet was a sinner when he did that? My prophet was mm -hmm. a sinner when he did that. He didn't do it, my friend. Uh -huh. He said, I intended that. Actually. Okay, let us read I, this I don't one. know if it's true. Your prophet, he burned. True, you said to me, your prophet, he ordered not even to cut a tree or burn a tree. Read with me. Does it say he true, burned? I, this is true. Hmm. But so so why, why he, so why he is burning the trees? Yes, I, I still stand with my point. My prophet told told us not to kill a woman, not to kill a child, not to kill the That's old a lie, my friend. That's a, a lie. Your prophet he kill a woman, and she is a warak. She she is she is very old. Her name uh, 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 He cut hmm. her to pieces when she was alive. This is khalas. Now, now, see, without giving me the, the, the verse, I will not believe it because okay, the first rule in killing, okay, hold on. The first okay. rule in killing so, so you, you don't kill people to pieces. No, hold on. If I show you that, what you will do? Are you willing, are you promise me to read it in Arabic and you translate to everybody? Yes, I will translate it for everybody if it's true. Huh? If, ah, it's true. if it's true. So you must not lying about your prophet. Okay, again, establish your point. You are saying that Muhammad went, uh, killed someone and he turned him to pieces. This is what you are saying. Mm, yes. Okay. Yalla, show me. Okay, I'm going to get his reference, and here we go. Uh, let me refresh the page again. Mm -hmm. My friend, uh, uh, Muhammad told us if we kill someone, we don't let him suffer. How you are telling How me nice. he, he turned her to pieces? How nice the prophet, he said, sharp your knife when you kill somebody. I mean, of this is course. very nice. They didn't have gun and electrical chairs and whatever. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. This is the way in Moses time. This is the way in right, Jesus right, time. Right, right, Okay, hold on, hold on. Let us see. Let me get me the reference. All right. Hmm. The peaceful way to kill someone cut his neck, so he won't suffer. Okay. Yes, it's savage because we now we have gun and technology. It can be faster and easier, but okay. they didn't. All right. I want you to read with me the following, please. I wish if I can, if you can please send me your link again because I don't know why uh, it's going to old videos. Okay, here we go. Look with me in the screen. Fatah al Bari, Sharh Sahih al Bukhari. Did you send me the link? You didn't see in the screen. No, Allah, I'm sorry, I didn't. Guys, is the screen coming to you? Everybody okay, now it. I can see. Okay. Yalla, yalla, go. Ahead. All right. So this is your Islamic book. This is your Islamic website. And just mm -hmm. showing you what is there. Now we go down. Bab Ghazwa to Bani Haritha. This is also your reading from Hadith, huh? Uh, so what? All Islam is Hadith. The Quran is a Hadith too, right? No problem. The no Quran, problem. the Quran is a Hadith. Okay. Let us see how he killed Ummu Qirfa. No, Quran not Hadith. Is the word of God. I, I will show you that that uh, the Quran is a hadith. Even the Quran says that Allah, your God, saying that. So why you are you know fabricating things? Hadith. Hadith okay. is the word of Muhammad. How okay. come okay. Quran okay. is? A... Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, let us see what it says here. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, Listen, Allah, I want to talk uh, to you about uh, good uh, points. Hold on, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. The last line, please. Here it says, so you are choosing the Rabataha. Oh, then I'm not choosing this. Your Islamic books, Rabataha fi then a be for a sign. Wa ajarahuma fatakata at wa asara bintaha wa cana jamila. So he killed. Oh, that's awful. He killed the women by guys. She is more than 80 years old. He tied her, he tied her by two horses, according to this story here. And he ordered the horses to run into different direction. Oh, but this is not Muhammad. This is Muhammad. Muhammad, this is Muhammad. what he said. This is what he said. Don't don't play games. Don't play games. I'm not playing games. Can okay. you please show me where is Muhammad's name in this verse? 
بوينت محمد اتس توكينج اباوت محمد ذيس از توكينج اباوت محمد امر هير وي جو امر رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اتسترا اتسترا بلا 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 اند ذن هي سايز اند ذن هير از توكينج هاو هي كيلد هير لا 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 didn't say امر رسول الله please highlight it if you say please okay, here we go can see okay screen. here we go فجهز النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فوقع بهم وقتل ام قرفه do you see it وقتل yeah. ام قرفه who is I the one it, i did no, no, i did I you, are who, you are the one who's playing it. okay here we go do you see it وقتل ام قرفه do you see it yeah. okay so your prophet is the one who killed her فجهزه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم م. إليهم فأوقع بهم م. وقاتل أم قرفة بقصر القاف قرفة وسكون الرائي بعدها ف... وهي فاطمة بن ربيعة بعد عز زوج مالك بن ربيعة بن حسين وكان في معظم في خاف فخربطها في ذنب فرسين وأجراها أوكي okay, I don't believe that really really okay so why you are saying ISIS did something uh, your prophet did not do because this is not true Maybe this is uh, ISIS uh, site you are reading from. Maybe. Mm. Ah, this is ISIS. Ah, ah, maybe, okay. Maybe. <laughs> so when we say something is true, what about? Uh, no, you uh, didn't prove anything. What, what do you mean? Yeah, you he did, just, not, did not prove anything. You just brought a verse and you made me read it. I read it for you in Arabic. That's it. Okay. It's I, not I gave, from the Quran. I gave you the reference. I gave you the reference. I gave you the reference. Okay. And then in different actually in different story it says he tied her up between two camels and that make more sense because camels where are more powerful in Arabic world? where do you see that we cut people's pieces where I see it every day where show me. there's that there's well, thousands I... of videos there's thousands of videos and your prophet cut the necks of people and he cut their hands oh are you talking about are you talking let me about ask you let me ask you let happened? me ask you let me ask you is it is it halal to put nails in the eyes of a human being you are picking weird stuff and really I am asking you is it halal about. you see here the story you're a prophet he tied her up in two camels and he cut her two pieces no well this is the book in the front of you because see because one word will destroy everything you are saying mm -hmm. you know لا تشبيها في القتل. We don't. We don't. Okay. Okay. Let him feel. Okay. It says here. وهي عجوز كبيرة فقتلها قتلا عنيفا and she was a very old woman and he killed her in a very violent killing. He tied up ربط بين رجليها حبلا. He tied between to her legs a rope. Then. But the line before that. What did it say? Then. Then. Okay. Hold on. Then. What? Muhammad gave her لحزن. What? Muhammad. فوهبها رسول الله بعد ذلك لحزن. This is this is the daughter. The daughter. They raped the daughter after they killed the mother. The mother is old. They gave the daughter to Malik ibn Hudayfa. You do not know how to read Arabic. So they killed the family, and now they are raping the daughter. She is beautiful, and now he tied her up between two camels. And he says, "ثم ربطها بين بعيرين ثم زجرهما فذهبا فقطعها." Do you see it? I see. Yes, I see. Okay. So you prophet, he cut her to pieces. Can I answer? And this is the book of Al Tabaqat Al Kubra li Ibn Saad. Good, you said it. It's not the book of Quran. Oh, okay. What if we show you from the Quran? What you would do? Oh, if you show me that we can cut people to pieces. How many oh. pieces we can cut them according to Islam? No one you can cut. How many pieces we can cut them? Just give me the answer. Never. never. I say I say four pieces. Is that okay? Not okay at all. Okay, let's go to the Quran then. There is only one people you can kill. No. No, hold on. Here we go. What mean khilaf mean? Four pieces. Yeah, four pieces, yes. <laughs> to a, whom? a second ago, you said no. A second ago, it doesn't who? matter. You said we don't cut pieces, be, be people no, pieces. You matter. just admitted that you cut people for pieces. No, no, what does it mean? But that doesn't matter. You are the one who said to me, We don't cut people in Islam. The second I said to you, Let me go to the Quran, you said, Oh, yeah, yes. four, yeah, four, four. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. We don't do that in Islam. <laughs> Only one place we can do that. Right, Please, right. I would love it when you tell people why. It doesn't matter. You say to me in Islam. No, I, you you See, say to me. You have courage. Okay, hold on. No, let, let's have, have a courage. Yes, let's have a courage. If somebody kills somebody, do you have the right to cut his hands, his feet, and put nails in his eyes? Yes or no? You didn't answer my question. 
in the same way you put this verse in the in the in the screen to everybody here please mm. i want you to tell everybody mm. why we do this why why we do this only this particular incident that we can uh, cut for pieces like why what? What, take is the the hands what is take the incident what is the incident what is the incident no 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 you take the claim you tell me why i will show you a story is that okay yes okay i'm gonna ask you if i if somebody killed uh, one of my family <clears throat> do i have the right to cut his hands and his feet and put nails in his eyes you have the right to kill him <clears throat> to kill him only yes but not to torture him no why no i'm talking about myself if i someone kill my no, family you, i'm talking about him. islam i don't you know. as a muslim as a muslim according to islam if somebody As a Muslim, killed, line, line, was sin, was okay, sin. so what is the eye for an eye? You kill the guy. Do you do you have the right to cut his hands and his feet and put nails in his eyes? Yes or no? Yes, there is there is one incident you can do that. What is the incident? You should tell me now from here. I want you to read no, it. No, because you know I'm going to show you everybody. something. This is why you are saying, oh, okay, now there's an incident. What is the incident? Tell me. You tell no, me. you tell me. You see, because you know I'm going to show you. This is why you are saying, oh, there's an incident. No, no, show me. But I you do not know what the me. incident. Please, okay, tell me what the incident. You said there is an incident. We can't do that. Tell me what is that oh, incident. You said, tell me a story and then you did Don't it. make because me hang up you on you. I'm losing my patient. I am asking you, what is the incident? You as a Muslim, oh. you are allowed to do that. You cut the hands uh -huh. and the feet and put nails oh, in the please. eyes. Oh, guys, he's going to hang up. I'm asking you to give me the incident. You said, yes, we can do that in an incident. What is the incident? Yes. You tell why are you anyone telling you? You are the one who tell me. You are the one who told me there's an incident. You are the one who mentioned there's an incident. So I'm saying to you, what is the incident? Yeah. Hello? Huh? Uh, Abdul, your voice is gone. Abdul, Abdul. If you are chatting with your four wives, you can do that in the same time. You cannot chat with your four your wife in the same time, a four mother in law. Oh, okay. His voice is gone. I don't know. What call me back. Call me back. I'm doing. There's an incident. You see, he's afraid. He knew I'm going to show him. So now he have to back it up. Okay. So what is the incident? You're allowed as a Muslim to put nails in the eyes of a human being. I told him. I told you you're gonna hang up in my face. Because you lost your connection, you idiot. Come on. Uh, did I lose my connection? Yes. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Now I'm asking you, what is okay. the incident? You are allowed to cut the hand of a human being and cut his feet and put nails in his eyes for killing a human being. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to your neighbor. Ah, okay. Hmm. No, my friend, you didn't answer me. This is the question that you brought. And now I want you to tell everyone why do we cut four pieces? Why you, you tell, tell me? me why, why you cut four pieces? Tell us. We go. I'm listening. Know. No, you tell Please me. Go ahead. Me. You are the Muslim. I I'm not the Muslim. Well, I don't. Well, huh? I don't know. I forget. It was long time ago when I studied it. Can you please? Uh... Because this is a religion of no mercy and filthy and torture, and Muhammad is copying a punishment from the Roman. Yet he claimed. Yet he claimed that this is a punishment from God. This is a Roman punishment, and Muhammad is a copy paste. He like it. He love torture. He enjoy it. Well, if say he I, left torture, well, I, I, I ask you, you don't want to answer. If a man he killed somebody from your family, God forbid, do you bring no. him and you cut his hands and his feet and you put nails in his eyes, or you just kill him? Well, it's the uh, both. So what? You both what? You do? You put nails in his eyes? If someone comes to my family, I fucking tell him. <laughs> don't use a bad language. Don't, you don't want to know. But this is according to Islam. You put nails I in his eyes. No, I don't say anything about nails in his eyes, but even if you it cut happens, his hands. Yani, so what? It's death. Yani. It's okay, death. so you ki you kill him or you torture him? No, I kill him. No torture in Islam. So but are, there is are, you are you rejecting? What? So are you, you? Okay, I'm asking you: Is torture is torture approved in Islam? Yes or no? No. One 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 incident that I forgot what it is. I told you, please educate me, and you are refusing to educate me. Mm -hmm. Show me. Mm -hmm. So show me, silence me. Yes, show me, silence me, because I can see the verse in front of you, but you are hiding the Arabic one. I want you to show me the Arabic one and educate me, please. Okay, read this story. Yalla. People, they killed a shepherd, and your prophet, he brought them, and he cut their hands and their feet, and he gagged their eyes. Why? You said yeah. ISIS are not Muslims. This is exactly yeah. what ISIS do. 
No. He cut their feet and their hands and he gagged their eyes. Okay. Okay. Let me talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Islam, yeah. the punishment for stealing mm -hmm. is cut hand, right? Mm -hmm. And there is another type of stealing. Mm -hmm. The people who doesn't stop matter, people doesn't matter. Street, uh, somebody, somebody he killed, somebody still killed. Okay, why you are cutting all his okay. hands and why you are gagging his eyes? The, those guys oh. they did not steal, they, they steal and they killed. Okay, so now they killed mm -hmm. the guy, and by the way, they did not steal, they took their own camels because they converted to Islam. And According Muhammad he to told who? them, Let your camel here, let your camel with the with those people. And even if they stole, okay, let us say somebody he stole. All right. Khalas, slowly we cut his hand. Okay, cut his hand. But why he is gagging their eyes? I don't know anything about gagging. And why he is cutting their feet? Reason. Why he, why he is, a reason why he is cutting their feet? There is the only way you cut your feet if you stole it in the road. If you stop someone and you no, stole everything no, from him. No, 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 this is a lie. Him. Cut cutting the hand is first time, then you cut the other side of the feet if he stole a second time, and then you cut the other hand if he stole the third time, and then you cut the other feet the, in the fourth time. Those people they did it once. So why Allah. he killed, why he cut their hands, all of it, and their, their feet, and in the top of that he gagged their eyes and he did them die slowly under the sun. Uh, you need to ask a scholar about that, mm. a judge, an Islamic judge. Okay. I don't know. Do you why. do you enjoy torture? Do you enjoy torture? I don't know at all. If you have a dead person in front of you, do you enjoy cutting his fingers? And of course not. Why the Quran then says, "You kill the kuffar and you cut their fingers." <laughs> you kill the kuffar is a different thing because it was in the context of war. We had a mm. war with them. Mm. Yeah, so, but why you want to cut their fingers? I don't know. You also have to ask an Islamic judge why. What is the reason? Okay. Maybe they did nice something. To meet, nice to meet you. We just to prove that ISIS are right. They are following the Prophet orders. They cut fingers of people to torture them. This is Quran. They cut necks. They cut hands. They put nails in the eyes. They cut fingers. This is Islamic. It's 100% Islamic. They rape women. They kidnap children. They ask for ransom. This is the truth. ISIS, not only they are Islamic, they are the only true Islamic people exist in this earth. And all the Muslims, they knew that. But what's happening, no Muslim really these days is a real Muslim. They wanna, they don't want to be this garbage. I mean, they are Muslim by name. They are forced to be Muslims. This is why you see some stupid who claim to be Christians, like a, a guy, his name is James White. He says, if ISIS are Muslims, why they are, why, why they are killing Muslims? Why? Because Muhammad said so. Muhammad, he said, if they don't pray as we pray, if they don't slaughter as we slaughter, if we don't, they don't live as we order them to live, we kill them. Converting to Islam doesn't make you a Muslim unless you practice Islam, and that have to be done as Muhammad said. Read carefully. Even if you don't slaughter as you as Muhammad is slaughter, if you don't pray. The same as Muhammad he pray if you don't pay the zakat if, if you break anything he will kill you all those hadith are sahih I have been ordered to fight the people till they say none has the right to worship but Allah okay they say that not enough and if they say so pray like our prayer face our qibla slaughter as a slaughter and then their blood and their property is sacred from us a criminal he is literally a criminal he says either you agree with me I will kill you if you do all of this then you are protected by me from me but still if you break any of them I will kill you still Do you see it unless it is except it is legal legally approved by Allah what is that and this is why I says they kill Muslims because for them they are not Muslims no more they are kuffar 
if you take the Christians and the Jews as a friends you are a kafir chapter 5 verse number 51 whoever take them as a friend he is one of them so if you are a Muslim and you invited the Christians or Jews uh, or you have relationship with the American or French or etc you are a kafir and should be killed according to Islam and this is the truth whoever take them as a friend he is one of them how many Muslims they live in the West they say to you you are my friend all of them they do but in reality in reality a Muslim is not allowed to do that and if he mean it he is not a Muslim Do you see it? If you take them as a friend, you are one of them. What does that mean? That's mean you became an apostate. Is that me saying that? No, this is the Quran. If you go to Imarat, they say we are friend to the Christians. You go to Saudi Arabia, we are friend to the American. But the Quran says, if you are a friend of them, you are one of them. There's a solution for this. You as a Muslim, you can lie and say, I am your friend, as long as you don't mean it. If we go in the Quran to chapter 3, verse number 28, and again, we don't show our own interpretation, we show their own interpretation, the scholars, and this is the Quran. It says, that you cannot take the Christians and the Jews as a friend unless you are lying to them, which means you don't mean it. So you speak to them in a friendly way, but in your heart is dislike this. Chapter 3, verse number 28, the interpretation of the cousin of Muhammad himself. It says it clearly, you cannot take a friend from the Christian and the Jews. And the, he who is sincere, which means who does that, he take them as a friend. Seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. That's it. He's, a, he's an apostate. He has no honor, which means the Muslim can rape his women, his wife, his daughter. No mercy, no protection from Allah, which means Muslims can kill him and take his money. Unless, do you see the unless? Unless what? Unless you do that yet you guard yourself against them which means you are lying to them save yourself from them taking as it were security taqiyya saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this do you see it so for those who they are naive stupid ones who keep saying to me i have a muslim friend i have a muslim friend and i have a muslim friend there's one of two solutions either he is a muslim by name he don't believe in islam he don't care or he is a real muslim and he believe in this he's lying to you for me like now i heard this ali he's saying he would like to be my friend I cannot you cannot fool me. I know you will not take me as a friend. It's against your religion To take me as a friend for real that will make you not a Muslim no more You can say you are my friend, but you cannot mean it speaking to them in a friendly way I mean, do you see the devil talking here? Can't you sense the devil speaking, please? Isn't it? This is devilish. The funny they call us hypocrite when Islam teach hypocrisy. It is a religion of hypocrisy. They say to you, you are our friend. You can do that. While your heart dislike this. So what they have in their heart? Hatred. Have you ever heard of a filthy religion more than this?
Muhammad Al Ansari. Uh, we have a hero here. <coughs> Ansar Ansari. <coughs> yes, Abdul. You want to debate me about the Trinity? <laughs> are you there? I want a question, Prince. I'm Ryan, brother. How are you? Fine, and you? So, what do you think about what we are saying? Always lying and lying. Huh? Like always. What do you mean, lying? I'm reading in front of me. This is Tafsir ibn Abbas. So, what is your point? Here we go again. What's your point? What kind of God he says to you? You can say to me, you can say to me, you are my friend, but in your heart you hate me and you are dislike this. What kind of God? Your God is Satan. This is has, this is, has nothing to do with the, uh, the uh, a normal friend. Awliya mm -hmm. in in the Arabic it means you cannot take it as uh, a higher religion. Higher religion? What is that? Friend? What, what what does it have to do with religion? You want to take me as a friend? I want to take you as a friend. What religion have to do here? No, my friend. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay, what awliya mean? What awliya mean? Awliya, it means someone who it, it teach you the religion. It is the high authority of awliya the religion. Awliya is somebody well, teaching your religion? Really? Hi. Yes. Okay, can you show me one translation I agree with you that awliya mean the one who teach your religion? I will I will show you the, the, the verse in the way you come Allah the one who was in yes. charge with the way you have many Allah meaning no problem yeah so uh, Allah is Allah your friend is this what it means no yes you see well it is the one but well hold on hold on hold on hold on no no no, no, no. Wali, Wali is the one who protect you correct in this case I don't hear you. What what wali mean? In this case, when nama waliyukumullah, what waliyukumullah mean? It is the one who give you the teaching of religion. Uh, really, this what it's uh, this what it's mean? I yes. thought I thought it's mean protection. You have the two meanings. So which one? Okay, no, 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 no. It's not uh, to uh, to 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 to. Well, you come. Okay, hold on. You know what? Here we go. We have the verses in the front of us. Can you show me one interpretation? I agree with you. That it's about somebody want to teach you his religion, as you said. Can you show me somebody says that? Or you are fabricating your own. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. Why is lying? What about we show you Ibn Kathir? What we show you Al Qurtubi? What we show you Al Jalalain? What we show you? I mean, why are you are lying? What? Who is the scholar who says that to you? This is not about having a friend. What did he say? Did he say? Uh, I'm asking you. What is the why the scholars agree with me, but they don't agree with you? No, none of them agree with you. No, agree with me. Here we go. It says take them not as a friend. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. Do you see the word of friends? It doesn't say here anything about teaching them religion. Nowhere it says that you are fabricating a lie. It says, and the one who listen, it says that the one who became mighty and honorable in reference to the believer who are sincere. Who does speak, seek might and honor by taking the hypocrite and the disbelievers as friends, not as teacher in religion? He who do that, he has no connection with Allah, has no honor, mercy, or protection from Allah, unless you guard yourself from them, speaking to them in a friendly way, but in your heart you hate them to death. So why you are lying? You are saying those about people who want to teach your religion. Why you are a liar? Why? It is why he say without the Muslims. Show me, can you tell me why here did not mention anything about somebody want to teach you religion? He's speaking only about somebody want to take you as a friend. Why, why the cousin of Muhammad he missed the point you mentioned? Why he's a stupid, he do not know Islam, and you know better than him. 
Can you go to uh, to the dictionary Arabic? Uh, yeah, this, dictionary. Uh, this is your interpretation. What's wrong with the interpretation of the scars of Islam? And this is the cousin of your prophet. Are you saying Ibn Abbas is an idiot? It is you who is idiot. Okay, so why you don't agree with Ibn Abbas to... then? Why you are saying he is wrong? Because you say this is about awliya, mean teaching your religion. Ibn Abbas saying this is about taking the disbelievers as a friend. Which one of you is trained a lie? It, it is it is meaning a friend, but, but what's what yeah, 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 it's meaning a friend, but it's means something else, right? Okay, get lost. Do you see why I don't talk to you? You're just a kid. When you say something to me, you have to prove it. This is the only scholar, your prophet. He named him to explain the Quran. He named other four to take the Quran from them, but he named this guy to explain the Quran. And as you see, it says it clearly, the one who take them as a friend. The same for a chapter 5, verse number 51. And by the way, there's many verses in the Quran speaking about not to take your Christians and Jews as a friends. And not only that, even your family. What about a chapter um, 9, verse number 23? Even your family, your father, your sons, you cannot friend them if they are not Muslims. Read with me and laugh at this liar. Or who you believe, choose not your father nor your brothers who are in Mecca from among the disbelievers for friends in religion if they take a pleasure in disbelief. Because according to Islam, you cannot take a friend from different religion. He's a kafir, but he is your father and he is your brother. You cannot. For they choose this belief. What the problem? They choose this belief. But here the problem is we will take them as friends. We are not going to take them as rabbi. They are just a friends. But this is my father. Still, you cannot. And the one who take them as a friend in the religion of Islam. He is a wrongdoer. He is like them. He is a disbeliever. We go to Ajalalain. The following verse was revealed regarding those who refriend. Do you see it? Just refriending them. Just because you're a friend. Your family, you are not, you are not a Muslim no more. But those are your father and your, your your brother and your sisters. You cannot. They lie to you, non-stop. But they cannot do that with us. Here, we do not debate Muslims. We do barbecue. This guy is saying to me, I'm lying. Let us call this guy. I think this guy, he like attention. <laughs> yes, Abdul, why I'm lying? Yes, the, the you're misinterpreting uh, the verse. That oh, you're hold reading. on. Which, I, I am the one who misinterpreted. It's in front of you. This is not my interpretation. I'm reading. Yes, first of all, it's saying the do not befriend the Muslims in Mecca first of all it's talking about Mecca at the time so what because they were obviously they were enemies first of all the verse never mentioned the word Mecca the interpretation here this is about what happened at that time because at that time they were in Mecca but the verse never mentioned the word Mecca correct the verse uh, I, don't, I don't know if it did <laughs> don't don't be a turkey now does the verse says that this is only for the case of those who they are in Mecca uh, I, I don't know, maybe... No, it, no, 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 it doesn't say that. Secondly, if the story is telling you about who they were talking at that time, that will not change the fact that Allah is saying, all who you believe, take not your fathers and your brothers as a friends. He didn't say, in from now until the coming marsh. He didn't say temporarily. He didn't say, he, he said it clearly, because they are kuffar. Correct. 
Yes, that's yes. okay. So as long as they are kuffar, we cannot take them as a friends. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So if they stay kuffar until now, still we cannot take them as a fr friend. Do you agree? Yes. So why you are saying to me I'm lying, you idiot? I know because you didn't Turkey. So what the problem? They are kuffar, not because they are in Mecca, you you you, you idiot. Don't take them as a friend. Your father and your brother. It doesn't talk about Mecca. It doesn't talk about, but for sure it happened in a certain time where people live in a certain place. But doesn't change the fact that this is an order you have to obey until judgment day. Turkey. Big mouth, they say nothing. Look what Aga Abbas he said. That just to show you how Aga Abbas is a silly. Aga Abbas he have a degree in being silly. Let me tell you why. He said this is mean protection. This is mean. Don't take them in protection. Well, this is even more than a friend, because not every friend he protect you. That means those people are very good people. Correct, guys. Why somebody want to protect you? Unless he is more than a friend, you can have a million of friends, but when you have a fight, nobody stand next to you because those are going to risk their life. That's mean the kuffar are good people, and you Muslims are not. So, as usual, Abbas he put eyeliner but in the wrong place instead of putting it in his eyes like he's a prophet, he put it in his bum. You just got your prophet busted. That's mean those kuffar are better than you. They are not an enemy. They are protecting you. By saying, Allah, he said, don't take them as a protectors. Take a selfie where you put the eyeliner now. A followers of a prophet who do put eyeliner three times a day when it be pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Have we, did we have a good time?